Yo, what is going on guys? It is midnight and we are back again bringing you yet again another video. Now, uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about the two new units that have been released today. I'm assuming you're seeing this video on the same day. If not, it'll be yesterday or whenever you watch the video. Regardless, we have had two new units that are five star and one is four star. I'm not going to talk about the four star unit, but I will briefly say this, that row, 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 the uh, Hydra, that is, um, what's his name, Zara Yusu's like pet. He's a really, really good four star unit. Obviously, I can't really put him in a tier list because he's not a five star, but he is a tank that has got a really good overdrive. He's got a self healing skill. He's also got a decent taunt. Overall, this four star unit is really good considering he's only, you know, four star. And he's up there amongst the, the top, probably up there with um, MV, which I'll talk about probably soon and also Entomar, they're like the three best four star units uh, in the game, in my opinion. Now without further ado, we just kind of jump straight in. So on the tier list, there's three changes. Obviously the two new units are one and two, and the third one is Demiurge. Demiurge has dropped down from mm, reasonably top of B tier, so in between Mare and Lup, all the way down to behind, well, in between Albedo's. And yeah, we'll get into that in just a moment. So we'll start with, I guess, Kakaitis, since he is pretty much the main event for this um, this uh, event. So in terms of Kakaitis, now he is a pretty decent blue unit. Obviously, he's the best blue unit in the game at the moment. Like, there's not really anyone that competes with him. Like, we've had, you know, really bad blue units for the time being, like really bad. So Kakaitis is the first one that I would say is okay. I wouldn't say he's amazing. Some people could argue that, but for me, I just think he's too expensive of a unit, and we'll get into that now. So in regards of stats, he's got very good stats at the moment. So his attack stat is really, really good, especially since he's actually a damage dealer. His speed stat, unlike the other Kakaias, is actually finally viable and actually pretty good. He's got pretty decent defense and pretty decent HP, considering he is a DPS. His resistances are neutral in terms of the fact that there's zero, so nothing's good against him, nothing's bad, like after you add all the maths up. Now, the first skill is free MP. It does 118% physical damage to one enemy, and that's it, right? So now this skill is pretty reasonable cost, but for me, if this was two MP, it would make more sense because this skill is really bad for free MP. Like all it does is 118% damage that's it like literally that's it um so yeah there's a bit of a really weak skill like i wouldn't really be using this skill at all um with this unit but it's there i guess if it was 2 mp it would be a little bit better um now this skill again is just 5 mp uh it's just so expensive for what it does you get 40 percent attack buff and also one stack immunity to magical damage which basically means for those of you that don't know if this unit takes any sort of magical attack after using this skill, it is reduced to zero. Now, granted, this could be a good skill to use on Chaos Fields when you know you're going to take a big magical damage attack. But for 5 MP to kind of not take damage that turn is pretty crap in my opinion. Now, obviously you do get the 40% attack buff after, which is really nice. But to be honest with you, you most of your damage comes from your skills. And when you use this skill, you can either use the top one twice or you can use the bottom one one time. And then you've got to rely on your basic attacks for the rest of your damage. So 5 MP is just too much. If it was 3 MP, that'd be an amazing skill. If it was 4 MP, it's pretty reasonable. But 3 MP would be amazing on this. Uh, the next one is 4 MP, 130% ice magic damage. And well, as you can kind of tell, again, it's just too expensive. Um, for example, things like, um, what's his name, Ainz, and you've got Evil Eye, you've got Demiurge, where they do elemental damage for 3 MP, single target. This guy does it for 4. So again, you know, it's just too expensive in my opinion. Now, regarding his passives, I don't know if you can hear any of that stuff outside, but yeah, there's a few cars parked outside. Um, but yeah, his passives, 20% ice element, which is pretty good, good for his overdrive and his, you know, um, main skill. Then he has 6% physical skill damage, which is okay for his overdrive and also for his first skill. But again, like if that was magical damage or even like ice, or just damage in general, that'd be pretty good. But you know, unfortunately, you know, this is a really only helps first skill in the overdrive. Now, overdrive again is okay. 142% uh, 0.75 ice type physical damage to one enemy. 
that's not bad considering you know um, it'll be good for like certain chaos fields and eventually when raids come out if anyone's immune to ice damage then it'll be good for that overall he's not that uh, he's not bad of a blue unit right his stats make up for his lackluster skills and his uh like lack of you know mp that you're going to be having with this unit Overall, he's going to be very good for Chaos Field. At the moment, Chaos Field 11, where it's red units. Nazric Aura is still going to be better, but he will be the second best, in my opinion, single target. Um, in terms of farming, he is not going to be that great. And in terms of pretty much anything else, he's okay, right? So just Chaos Field 11, he's pretty good. Other than that, he's not that bad. That's why he sits at the top of B tier. Now, he has the stats to be in A tier, but his skills and his overall ability just make him borderline b and a like you could put him like next to lakios or even in front of lakios but we kind of refer prefer sorry the um the lac uh, lakios skills uh, just in general rather than this single target damage dealer because you have shizu you have um what's his name uh i forget his name demiurge uh, evil eye irons nazarick or you have all of these people that can do better single target damage even probably nabe uh, actually, no, not Nabe, but all of the other people that I just mentioned pretty much do better single target damage for a better cost. So if it's not more damage, it's going to be because they're cheaper. And they do other stuff as well. So that's why he sits there. Sebus, to be completely honest with you, is exactly the same thing. He's got a good typing. He's got heart. He is an enhancer. He's got very good HP, very good defense, very good speed. Uh, his attack is obviously not high, but that's because he's an enhancer. Resistances, again, are really good. And he's just the same, really, as, you know, Kokaitis. Like, in terms of him, he's a single target damage dealer, but his attack stat isn't high enough to be, you know, sitting above Kokaitis. And not to mention, we already have Nazarik Aura to kind of fill that heart single target damage slot. So, unlike this guy, he is going to be the blue single target damage dealer everyone would want. First skill, free MP, 115% physical damage with a 45% paralysis chance. Now that is a lot better than obviously this one because you're getting more out of it. You're getting a chance to have a you know a debuff, and this skill for me is worth free MP. Would I use it? No, I wouldn't because I would use his third skill. But again, you know, if you have to come to it, it's a lot better than just having physical damage. Um, so yeah, this isn't a bad skill in my opinion. It's not amazing, but then again, it's not great either. Second skill, he gets plus one hit, which is 11%. Then he also gets 35% physical attack buff for three turns, two MP. Again, really good self buff. Not too bad, to be honest with you. Uh, will I use it? Probably not. Um, actually, do you know what? I probably would. Do you know, like, it's actually not a bad skill, right? You could use this and then use the skill down here three times. So, Chaos Field or Raids, when you're doing single target, this isn't actually a bad combination. Um, the second and uh, the third skill, sorry, he deals two hits of 78%, which makes it, what's that, 140, 156% physical damage for 4 MP with a 62% chance to inflict poison with a 7.5% damage, which is better than the usual poison because usually it's 5%, but yeah, an extra 2.5%, 62%. It's not bad. It's not a bad skill. Um, again, Reason why this this guy sits below, I'll come back to it actually, but yeah, um, he sits below Kakaitis and the tier list. He's not that far off, like either one you get, they're pretty much virtually like, identical in terms of skills. Uh, both have, you know, a, a buff and then both have uh, two, three and four MP skills with, you know, single target damage. 5% speed buff, 10% defense. Now 10% defense makes it a lot tankier than what he already is. And his speed buff will make him obviously go over 400 mark, which is still really good, no relics included. Overdrive is again better than Kankaitis. It is 167.5% physical damage, lower the attack, defense speed by 30% of one enemy. Now this is actually a really good overdrive, especially if the enemies are only singular. Um, very gonna be, gonna be very good for Chaos Field 1110, which is gonna have three enemies on their own, all in each individual wave. You can use it and you know you can take advantage of it. Now you're probably thinking, well, you know, why why is this guy below Kakaitis if everything's you know better in a way? Like pretty much everything seems to be better. And well, in terms of the role that they fill, first off, um, Sebus, he is um, he is hot, which is great. But we've got Solution, Pandora, Nazric Aura, Lakios. We've got all four of these guys. Even Nabe as well, right? We've got five people that, when filling a heart role, are better than him. 
Um, not only that, but his role is a single target DPS. You've got Nazarick Aura to fill that gap. And in general, even if you're not including Heart and just single damage in, in, uh, in general, there's several units. All the ones I previously mentioned, as well as even Kakaitas, all of these guys do more single target damage than Sebus. Um, the stat, 1200 attack stat difference um, for a DPS single target, again, is so much better than this. And not to mention, like at the moment, Kakaitis is really the only viable blue unit, in my opinion. You're going to have times that you're going to use Naz um, not Nazarick Aura, sorry. Um, like, for example, in this event currently, I'm going to mention it in tomorrow's video, um, but I'm going to mention it now. If you want to get points on this event to get that relic, use Aura, use this Albedo, and use Nazarick Aura. You want to use Petrify. Pop an aim relic, whether it's 4, 2, whatever it is, preferably 4. Pop an aim relic on a unit with Petrify and you'll be able to kill the Kakaitis boss on extreme a lot quicker because you have a really high chance to you know, um, Petrify him and you'll probably finish it in one, possibly even two, three turns. So obviously you're going to have uses for this aura but besides from like things like this, this is really an only real viable blue unit. Obviously Shout is not bad but again Kakaitis is better. Now Demiurge drops because these two units, again, single target damage dealers and they are all just better in terms of stats um, and for the extra 1 MP, you know, you deal uh, more damage than, you know, this 3 MP skill. Granted, you know, you're going to have, um, you're going to have, you know, uh, less MP but for the amount of stat difference between the units, like this is a single target damage dealer, 6,700, Kakai is 7,800. It doesn't sound like a lot. But I'd rather take that extra 1,000 damage um, over the free MP skill. And not only that, but I'd rather use Sebus for his extra health, defense, and even speed. Um, so unfortunately, Demiurge drops down a little bit. So yeah, that's where the free units rate uh, rank. Sorry, you could argue Kakai has been an A tier, but when me and Dizek were doing the tier list, we kind of thought, Do you know what? Like he's borderline. So if you want to say he's an A tier unit, by all means you can, but there's no way he's a high mid tier A unit, he's low end. Um, but yeah, these are the units at the moment. We've got quite a pretty well balanced team now. Um, tomorrow's video I'll talk about the new event. And yeah, that's basically it really. I would I would I worth would it be worth summoning on this banner? No. The step up banner, first of all, is paid stones only. Um if the step up was maybe cheaper, like not paid stone, sorry, then maybe yeah, do the first one or two steps. I done one step because it was a hundred gems, and I had obviously paid stones, uh, and I got I actually got Sebus, Row Row Row, and two four uh, two five star relics, both really bad ones. But you know, I mean, I've got Sebus. I'm not going to carry on pulling. No, I don't really care about the Kakaias. There's going to be better blue units in the future. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and yeah, take care and peace out.